that off. We could put that on the Highlander. No, we're gonna bring that the tape line. Oh fuck yeah! Yeah. Think we're gonna make it? Yep. I'm involved. We'll make it. <laughs> Hater built, huh? Welcome back. We are taking video today. As you can see on the Burgundy truck, Ron Burgundy, as Gabe has named it. Um, it didn't leave. Everyone was wondering if it sold or not. Uh, the guy bailed. That was a while back, but he bailed. Kept the truck. We've had some problems since then. Um, just, some, just some issues that we've had, and it needs an engine. So we got to put an engine in it. Uh, it's got massive amounts of bulb life. But I have a chance to be in a show um, in 2024 at SEMA with the Axe Wheel booth. We are going to try to make that happen uh, to the best of our ability. We are going to make a few small changes. A few small changes on the truck. <laughs> um, uh, just, I haven't touched this truck in years. I haven't really, I mean, yeah, I painted the bumpers, did some 26s on it last time you guys saw the real, real big video on it, did some engine work, but. I haven't physically changed the mirrors or, or any of the really big mods on this truck in years. So it's time to do some of that stuff because this truck deserves a lot because this is ultimately the OG Ron Burgundy that started everything that we have today. So um, we're going to do some small mods here and there on the suspension. <laughs> and uh, and a few things, wheels and tire wise will be different setup. Obviously Axe is looking up with some wheels. Um, and then I'll do some new tires, you know, some color matching, different color matching here, some different lighting stuff. Uh, maybe do a little bit different stuff with the exhaust. I'll just try to kind of make it a little bit different one-off. Um, a few small things here and there and make it look better and kind of just refresh the look of the truck. Um, so that's the plan. Uh, so today's video is going to be us starting that big build. Um, the first thing we're going to do in that is we're going to lower the truck down to stock height so we can actually work on the damn thing and, you know, the engine stuff to it and, and, and any of the body work, anything you have to do to it, it'll be at a relatively decent height that can actually fit in the paint booth and it's easier to work on. So those are the big plans for this thing. Uh, nothing crazy, just some small adjustments. <laughs> Little small, tiny, weeny, teeny weeny adjustments. So let's get this thing rolling. It's going to be a good series. We just went around the whole truck saying uh, to hit their hit our numbers for uh, part out. Yeah, hit me and Gabe up for prices, give us the cash. Mm -hmm. And we'll get you the parts. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Damn, dude, that's stock? That stock? I don't think those are the right springs. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Come look at this, dude. That's a fat gap. Hey, old man. Right are these stock? He said, yeah. No, they're not the right ones, though. Hello. God, that's a, is that stock right height? Yeah. Once it's compressed, it's not even compressed yet. That's not the right spring. Though. Grab one of those and fall on the outside. You versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. We're going here to our uh, organized park shelf. 
<laughs> Hit me up if anyone needs a brand new bed. I got axles for days. Doesn't look stock to me, sir. Those ones? Oh, those are those are that's a that's a newer style. No, those are those are a seventy eight Ford. Oh, how'd that work for that you? That fucking hurt. I, I do from my six seven. Okay, so yes, you do have some. Should yeah, they should be in the back of the white roof truck out there. <laughs> what are you doing, Herbie? Trying to take off the truck bar truss bracket. We're going to call the strength bracket, but now the fucking dip's in the way. Would this be? Could you this... go bump the rack up a few bumps? Motor mount, right? Oh. I just got the three in the front now, I believe. Where are we at? Where are we at? Talking to me? Yes. Front is... Brewster, go. Front's complete. Uh, we're going to put some nice, really nice new wheels and tires just picked up for 13 grand on there. Fully forged. And uh, we're putting tires in the front of it. And then we got to lower the rear down to match the front, so it's all low. Um, and then it'll be phase one. And then ready for SEMA? No. <laughs> phase one down to the right ride height so we can actually like do body work and engine work and everything else without being 13 feet in the air. So, and there's nothing like that. <laughs> oh lord! Can't see so, that's where we're at. Where we're at? Tune in. Where are we at? There's a lot of parts back here. That's where we're at. What's the quote of the day? Quote of the day is lower is gayer, higher is cooler. Yeah, right. Now. Okay, we're talking group of non stock trucks over here. Hey. Doc stays okay. over there on that side of the bed. Yeah, you got me. You got me. He gets all poopy. This truck's not even stock. It's got a turbo on it and some shit, and he just he gets all shitty, dude. Now that's a truck right there. Look at that sexy truck. Where are the isolators? This is the current condition. Dude, you need a keeper this height. No.